What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Up Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to watchOS 8.7, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the public beta too. Yes, this is the public beta and it's now available to public beta testers. The developer beta was released yesterday. And as you can see for me here on my Apple Watch Series 7, this update comes in at exactly 94.1 megabytes and and I was updating from watchOS 8.7, the first beta that we saw a few weeks ago. Now, obviously, this is not all that Apple released today. In fact, if we go to the Apple developer page and go to the systems, you'll be able to see some other updates or beta softwares that were released today. We have iOS 15.6 beta 2, and we also have iPadOS 15.6 beta 2, as well as macOS 12. 5.5 beta 2 we now have watchOS 8.7 beta 2 of course this is the video for this and when it comes to tvOS we have tvOS 15.6 beta 2 now most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at half man half tech so if these are updates that you are interested in and you want to keep up to date then definitely do subscribe so that you stay up to date now as you can see here on my Apple watch I've updated my Apple watch and you can see that it says your Apple watch is now up to date so let's dismiss this and go into the system preferences and see what's new about this update so this is the software changes and you can see the new build number that we have the version of course being 8.7 we have a new build number that is 19 u 5037d so it now ends with the d and this is sort of interesting because on the first beta of watchOS 8.7 the build we had ended with a c so in a sense we took one step back so maybe this is to indicate that not much emphasis is being put on watchOS 8.7 since in about a few days we are going to be having watchOS 9 the first beta so Maybe Apple is just focusing on watchOS 9 for now, but this is what we have when it comes to the new build that has been updated with watchOS 8.7 beta 2. Not a lot also has changed with this update in terms of what's new. So Apple did mention that there's some new accessibilities that are going to be coming to the Apple Watch. And some of those will be able to allow you to basically mirror your Apple Watch on your iPhone and have it as a bigger display place so that is going to help those that have you know maybe viewing disabilities and so on but other than that when it comes to this update there isn't a lot that has changed with watchOS 8.7 it's going to be more of a bug fix update that's going to provide stability and security updates for your Apple watch while you wait for watchOS 9 so there's also something that was updated last week so if you go into your watch face and actually click uh, the new watch face selector you'll be able to see that we have a new watch face there and you can sort of browse the new watch face section and you'll be able to see here if you click on it that we have this that is pride threads now this actually came as a notification for me and if i add it on my apple watch you can sort of see that i have the background on or background off it's like switching between dark and light mode in a sense and the time is depicted by the strings so as you can see this is how you switch it off and on by just toggling and not nothing much basically is enabled by this watch face you can see what it is and this came as a notification for me on my iphone and i was able to just click on it and add it on my apple watch so this is what i received when i got this watch face so on my iphone i basically got a new notifications that the pride threads face is now available and you can add it to your apple watch if you 3d touch to force pressed on the notification you would get something that looks like this and you had the option to view the watch face or add it to your watch and once you add it of course it 
comes on your apple watch and it goes on to look something like this so i know for some people they don't get this watch face right away and if you didn't get it I, i'm always happy to share this watch face with you i can always provide a link if you want to have this uh, watch face and you didn't receive it in the first place so that's something that uh, i thought i should share and also when it comes to this update i'll be happy to let you know that if you were to go to apple and go to their youtube channel actually so you can see here that wwdc 2022 is going to be live in about four days so if you're looking forward to watch os 9 you can actually set a reminder and you'll be reminded by a notification when this is about to start so on apple's youtube channel you can actually be able to save that and that is something that's good for those that want to stay up to date so since nothing much has really changed when it comes to this watch os 8.7 the big emphasis is on watch os 9 that's going to be coming out next week for developer beta testers i'm going to be testing it from the first beta up to when it's released and so a few things that I just wanted to bring to attention on what you can expect when it comes to watch os 9 the first thing that's uh, uh, supposedly supposed to be coming to watch os 9 is a new advanced battery saving mode or a sort of advanced way to help you manage your battery better on your apple watch which is a low power mode option that will help basically help you preserve your power so i can't wait to see how apple is going to be introducing that and also maybe a new way to navigate or view your apple watch we could be getting a new sort of view option but that is hardly you know supported at this time we just have to take it with a little grain of salt so that's something that you, uh, that you could also find also with each watch always update we might be getting a new watch face last year we got a few new watch faces and with watch always 8 in in between with the point updates we got some other watch faces like the dynamic contour we got unity lights we got the world time we got the portrait watch face and a few other watch face and also we got the modular max duo and a few other watch faces so this year we can also expect to see a few new watch faces with watch os 9 now there's also rumored to be coming a new sos feature that's going to be helping you when you have like a crash detection and so on so that it's caused emergency sos uh, during a fall detection and apple is always going to try and look for ways that they can improve when it comes to the health metrics of the apple watch so fall detection might get a step up or a bump up in performance or perhaps a new setting that you can uh, tweak on and off there's also something that we might be seeing that is new apple apps or updated apps to the ones that we have on the apple watch and a few other minor changes when it comes to watch os 9 so i'm going to be covering watch os 9 here on the channel on monday and i'm going to be helping you be able to download and install watch os 9 on your apple watches so that's about it for me when it comes to this update nothing much has changed we can always look forward to watch os 9 that's coming up pretty soon and when it comes to uh, the release date of this watch was 8.7 if you are curious and you want to you know know when you can get it without having to jump on the beta i would basically say that look forward to it towards the end of june or early july so we still on a build that has a d and this is highly unstable and needs to be tested quite a bit so those are some of the things that i thought i should mention for this small update watch os 8.7 and next week look forward to watch os 9 and definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out on that now stay safe guys and i will definitely see you in the next video Peace.